Hey guys, it's just Demo here. Um, and today you're going to be seeing for the first time the first part of our uh, going to be a pallet build, a pallet cabin build. Um, I want to do a lot of different stuff with pallets because I think it's a it's an untapped resource just for um, side hobbies and such, you know, like building small things. <clears throat> and I've also got some lumber down there that was given to me for free. The goal for this is going to be building it for free. Um, and by that, I mean, I do have some screws and stuff that I've already bought, but since I already have them, I'm not gonna consider them. But basically all the lumber and everything's gonna be for free. Um, as you can see over here, <coughs> I did start this video, um, but through editing and stuff, I really hated it. I hated the way it looked, so I did not wanna show you guys that. But it's okay because I was pulling all these boards up, as you can see, um, from the edges and most of them started splitting like that or ripping apart and through that I realized that was just not a very good way of doing it it wasn't time efficient it took me about an hour to do five pallets and that was way too long so um, just for reference I'm going to kind of show you what I'm going to do I'm actually going to take a uh, saw and I'm going to cut right along here I'm only going to lose about an inch or two inch and a half of wood and it's not going to crack so it's going to keep all the rest of my uh, pallet wood great and, and in good shape and then I'm going to use a tool which is this that I was allowed to borrow and it's really neat because you just go under here and then pop it up just like that um, it does take some effort especially since a lot of these uh, pallets have these weird nails in them that are almost like screws and like I said, I think it'll go a lot faster. But now, uh, just gonna switch over to basically a time lapse of me cutting these apart and then ripping them up. Um, so you guys will kind of get to see that, and then we'll get on to some plans and stuff in the future videos, and you'll see me start building it. Just a little side note for uh, for future dimensions and the reasons I'm kind of gonna be doing it the way I am is uh, I, it's really important to me for it to fit on this trailer. Just in case I'd ever wanna do, you know, the mobile mini home movement, you know, tiny homes. I think that's a really neat. Um, so just in case I ever would decide or ever to build something on here, I kinda want this to be a mock up, mock up of what it would be like. And just so you guys know, this trailer is 16 feet long, exactly. And from the inside rail to inside rail, it's about six and six and a half uh, feet. It's actually six foot five inches, but that's beside the point. I'll probably be making the dimensions of the uh, cabin six by 15. That sounds about good, just to make sure it'll fit on this trailer perfectly fine for moving and everything in the future. This is going to be way faster. Um, like I said before, it probably took, I don't know, five minutes at the very least, and I probably would have ruined three of the four boards. So, this seems like it's the way to do it. Um, I'm going to get to doing this. Like I said, it's probably going to be fast forward for you guys. Um, and my goal for today is to get most of the pallets like this. That way, I can use that tool pop them all out, start taking out the nails, and then we can get the floor started. Thinking four, floor, walls, roof, and we'll be done. Um, of course, it'll probably be more videos than just four, and you know, it'll probably be a lot harder than what I think, but you never know unless you try. So without further ado, let's get started.
this point, I figured you guys have had enough of the time lapse. So basically this is what we're turning the boards into. Like I said, there's still one down the middle and I will be using that tool to pry those up, but it should keep the, the rest of the board safe and without cracking. These ones look 20 times better than this over here. I'll probably end up having to cut that off anyways. So it's saving me a lot of time. And the cool thing is the amount of trash that's left over is hardly anything, but we can also use that as firewood for when we do the rest of the property cleanup. I'm gonna have a little snippet here in a second showing you guys how uh, snowy it is here and how wet it's been. Um, so you kind of understand why those videos have been on hold. Um, but like I said, got the plans down and when we cut back to the video, it should Where are That sucker. Ah! Keep going. Okay. There you go. This one's a little crooked. Okay. Hit it hard. There you go. Now you just. Stop. <laughs> just showing the progress we've made. Being almost halfway done with just breaking down these pallets. Okay, guys. So at the end of this video, um, I just wanted to talk about, for one, I want to say thanks to Breezy uh, for helping out. She's awesome. And that's kind of the goal of all this is for us to do this together as a couple. And I'm really enjoying it so far. She's learning a lot. Um, that's why I had those snippets at the end of her uh, driving those nails out, you know, she doesn't know how to do all the other stuff, but like I said, she's learning as she goes and she's doing every little thing she can. So I just wanted to say to her that I'm very thankful for her and I love you. And so next to that, um, we have some pictures that are the original doodles of the cabin and, um, you know, just on paper. And next we have actually a computer I don't know what you'd say, basically a doodle blueprint, if you will, of the cabin of what I'd like it to look like. You know, it's got the shelf and the bed and, and everything, the fireplace, all that good stuff. And lastly, I know I talked about a winter storm in this video, so I'm going to show some pictures, probably with some music over it again, of all the awesome views that we had um, of the, and finding the spot where the cabin's actually going to go. Um, luckily I have a grandpa who owns land and he's going to let me put it there. So I'm super excited about that. And it, it'll be awesome for when we do overnights because it'll have enough wood to burn and it will have water by the location. So we can do some fishing and hunting stuff, hunting squirrel, all that good stuff. And I am super excited about it. One thing I do want to mention is that there's a big rock that I'm going to show in one of the pictures and it is an awesome I'll call it like a reflecting heat rock. I'm excited for that for when I have a fire outside. It'll bounce that right back at me. And when I saw that, Breeze and I kind of looked at each other and we just knew that's where it had to go. So I am so excited about that. You'll kind of see how there's a tree down in the way. But that's beside the point. I can clean all that up. We'll probably do a video over that. Um, and I did say maybe... Uh, about the free stuff because I was originally wanting this to be all free and it might still be but I am needing some two by fours and I'm having trouble finding those for free I can get them extremely cheap but not free so we'll have to look into that as we go but I definitely want to keep this as cheap as possible and uh, make sure to like and subscribe as always I hope you guys are enjoying this enjoying these videos if you made it all the way to the end of the video please uh, comment and say you did and I'll see you guys on the next video.